there's nothing here. I, what am I supposed to do? What the? I don't think I'm supposed to do that. <coughs> um. Nothing shows up. Excuse me, yes? Nice hand puppet you have there. You really think so? Yeah, I like the one with the stick. That ain't a stick. That's a baseball bat. It's not a baseball bat. It's a stick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is a baseball bat. Hey, that looks like the one my puppet has. Why do I bother? Seeing <laughs> that you're so interested in it, I'll let you have it. I don't want it. You don't want it? I'll have it. You ain't getting it. My new friend here is gonna have it. Thanks, but I'll pass on the sock. Just take it. I don't want it. You know you want it. Really, I don't want it. Of course you do. Now take it. I don't want the stupid thing. Take it. For the last time, I don't want it. I'll have it. Why don't you shut up? Now take the puppet before I change my mind. Are you deaf? I don't want the stupid hand <laughs> puppet! Is that it? You're gonna hurt my feelings just like that? For crying out loud, it's just a puppet. Fine. I extend the hand of friendship, and you bite it. All right already. I give in. I'll take it. I know you wanted it. Anything to shut you up. You said I could have it. <laughs> No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. Did too. That's it. I ain't talking to you no more. Oh, yeah? Well, I ain't talking to you no more. What did I do to deserve this? Ahem. <clears throat> well, look who we have here. Faye? If it isn't Joseph King. I should have known you were the cause of this racket. What are you doing here? After you abandoned me at the crash site, I decided to find help myself. I came across a tribe of Amazon women who've been kind enough to feed and shelter me. I thought I told you to stay back at the plane. Well, it's lucky for you that I didn't. I'm your only ticket out of this dump. Where the heck am I? You're currently in the Amazon's dungeon. This is where they keep any men that they capture snooping around. Not a bad idea. I could use one of these myself. Are these really Amazon women? Uh-huh. 100% bona fide Amazonians. They're really nice people. They just want to keep to themselves and live a peaceful life. Well, are you going to get me out of here? That depends. Are you going to apologize for all the trouble you caused me? Okay. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. You don't sound sincere enough. <laughs> Try that apology again. Okay. I'm really, really sorry. Will you forgive me? I might forgive you. Okay, you're forgiven. Just don't do it again. By the way, there's someone here who wants to see you. Follow me. I've just been cooped up in some smelly dungeon. What's going on around here? 
Joe. This is the head of the Royal Amazon Guard. Tell him your story. We are very sorry to have had to use force to bring you here, but we had no other choice. You could have tried a telegram. Our princess is in grave danger. We believe that she was captured by the evil man at Floda. Your princess? You don't mean Azura, do you? Trader Bob has told me all about her. He has? You already know about her? Of course I do. I am a man of many talents. Yeah, right. So are you going to help rescue the princess? Hey, I'm working on it already. You are? Joe, I don't know what to say. Well, you could say something nice for a change. And what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, you haven't been the nicest person since we crashed. What do you expect? My career is on the line here. Hey, so is mine. Sorry to interrupt, but we are wasting precious time. Perhaps you could put your differences aside for one moment. I will, if she will. <laughs> oh, all right. Good. Well, I guess I'd better go and rescue the princess then. Thank you, Joe. Good luck in your mission. Yeah, Joe. <clears throat> good luck. I guess I'd better find that princess. Uh, the less said, the better, I think. It's full. Yeah, cool. <laughs> really? I'd rather not bother her. It popped up then. It looks nice. That must be out with the way I'm back to the dungeon, which I don't think I need to go. I don't see anything special. This place then become available on the map. Yeah, Amazon Fortress. I uh, haven't properly looked around here though. here and then over there but I've been hey there little fella watch it there boy that little fella has one mean bite hey there little fella I wouldn't get too close to him he hasn't had his shots yet. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Hey! Don't do that. He's very attached to his coconut. Sorry. Hi there. My name's Joe. Howdy, Joe. I'm Mary Lou Cook. My husband Jimmy and I run this mission. Who did you set the mission up for? Those monkeys. Are <laughs> very funny. We were trying to teach the native pygmies, but they ran away. Why did the pygmies run away? I don't know. I began singing when they suddenly upped and left. Listen. All things great and beautiful. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? <coughs> Believe me.
believe me when I say you have a unique voice. Wow, thank you. <laughs> well, I hope they come back soon. How did you talk to the pygmies? I just used my English to pygmy dictionary. Can I have a look at the dictionary? You know, I'd love to let you have a look, but it's the only one I have, and I can't risk losing it. I'll swap you for your dictionary. Mm, what have you got to swap? Would you like another nail file? It's not worn out, is it? No, it's brand new. Hmm. Okay. You've got a deal. I'll swap. Good. I'm glad we could come to some arrangement. So am I. It's an English to Pygmy translation dictionary. Hi, I'm Joe King. Howdy, boy. The name's Jimmy Cuss. Welcome to our humble mission. It's our own little slice of heaven. Do you know where I could find a phone? Hmm, that's a tough one. The only place I can think of is the Flota Leader Hosen Factory. You can find them over beyond the pinnacle. This looks more like a zoo than a mission. Hey, I happen to like animals. In my spare time, I'm a zoologist. Last month, I studied sloths. This month, I'm studying monkeys. Do the monkeys have names? Well, they sure do. This one here is called Bonzo. The one in the middle is Cheetah, and the one in the pirate hat's called Bubbles. What exactly is a sloth? A sloth is a tree-climbing edentate mammal found in Central and South America. They're slow-moving, hairy, and have little or no teeth. <laughs> What do they eat if they have no teeth? Well, they eat stuff that doesn't require chewing. The species in this jungle has a particular liking for sweet nectar. That sounds a lot like my grandfather. Your grandfather climbs trees? I never thought sloths could be so interesting. I know what you mean. Once you begin studying them, you find it hard to stop. Truly one of God's finest creations. I think I know enough about sloths. <coughs> you can never know enough. Why do you have a mission in the Amazon jungle? Why not? It's just as good as any other place. The rent's cheap, weather's nice, and the place is brimming with natives who need spiritual guidance. Are you giving these monkeys guidance? Monkeys are people too. They've got feelings. They have beliefs. So what if they've got IQs less than 50? We're used to that. I've got some more animal questions. Sure thing. Fire away. Uh. Is it true that whales are actually big fish? Ha <laughs> ha. That's a common misconception. Whales aren't fish at all. They're actually aquatic lizards who annually migrate onto land to lay their eggs. Nice talking to you. Oh, bless you, my son. <laughs> right, I've got an idea now, because I've got... Uh, said the soft like nectar, so... That helps. Oh, hang on, sloth this way. I have an idea. If I put the flower on this branch, it might lure him closer. Now, to wait. <laughs> he 
Geez, I wonder what Joe is doing right now. Probably something exciting. <laughs> Not really. <clears throat> That was painful. It's too big to carry. I'll leave it here. What was the point of moving the sloth? I found this orchid in the jungle. I thought you might like to give it to Naomi. Gee, thanks. Orchids are her favorite flower. You're a real lifesaver. We've got a date tonight and I hadn't found her a present yet. Now all I've got to do is find a good restaurant. Sorry, but I can't help you with that one. Naomi will really love this. Glad to help. I'm afraid I can't pay you for it. Oh. But I can offer you one of these fishing nets here. Ah, that will do nicely, I guess. I better hide it so she doesn't see it before our date tonight. Oh, well, I hope you get lucky in finding a restaurant, that is. <laughs> I'm sure we'll manage. Are you sure it's okay for me to take one of these nets? Sure thing, son. You're a special customer now. Gee, thanks, Bob. My pleasure. Yay, I have a net. Nice. So how that do I... doesn't seem to work. So do I just talk to them and then it automatically translates? Hello, I'm Joe King. You must be the witch doctor. That's correct. What do you want? What are you doing? I'm mixing up some potions for the villagers. Could you make me a rash cure? It's for a friend of mine. A friend, huh? <laughs> well, I need the following ingredients. The hair of a slow-moving climber, milk from a sacred site, and something else to give it a little buzz. Is that all? That's it. Bring them to me. And I'll have you fixed up in no time. But it's for my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Thanks for the information. I'm happy to be of assistance. Nice talking to you. Goodbye. All right, so I've got the buzz. Milk Hello, from a I'm Joe site. King, pilot for hire. Greetings, Joe King. I am the chief of this pygmy village. How may I be of service? That statue behind you, is it an original? You bet it is. It was carved by one of my great, great, great ancestors. Do you like it? Yeah, it's very unique. What's it meant to be? It represents the gods that have visited us throughout time. They came from the heavens in fiery canoes bearing gifts for my people. What sort of gifts did the gods bring you? All sorts of things. Like Velcro, liquid soap, <laughs> key rings that beep when you clap and banana flavored jelly in a tube. Mmm, that was yummy. Do 
these gods look like that statue there? No, not at all. Apparently, they're much, much uglier. Have you ever met any of these gods? Not personally. They aren't due to visit again for another two years. Thanks for the tribal history lesson. I feel smarter already. My pleasure. What's the name of your tribe, Chief? Where the heck are we? How the heck should I know? I just crashed here. I've read about you guys in National Enquirer. It was an honest mistake. We were young. We were naive. We were in love. We were giddy with joy. We were drunk. Besides, she never said she was the governor's wife. Did I say National Enquirer? I meant National Geographic. Oh, yeah, right. Of course. <laughs> Look, just forget what I said, okay? <laughs> nice talking to you, Chief. Always a pleasure, Joe. Hello again, Mr. Chatterbox. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? I give up. I guess I'm not supposed to do anything with him. Uh, let's go here first. Oh, forgive me. I didn't get much sleep last night. This stuff is expensive French perfume. Beep, beep. Where's my headset beeping? It's the battery's running out. It's like 49% charged. If I didn't save him from that fish, he'd be a goner by now. No idea what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> I wonder that this might seem a bit wrong, but do I suggest I don't want to hurt him? It's too big to carry. I'll leave it here. Now ain't the time to be putting on a puppet show. Mm. And I, mean, I guess I need a pair of scissors from somewhere. Is there someone there now? Nope. I've got to do something here surely now. Mannequins are wearing later hosen. Hey, 
Hey, turn the lights back on. I'm trying to work here. Sorry. Oh, wait a minute, hang on. This might be a shot in the blue. Shot in the dark, shot in the blue, what? <laughs> Composers, elevator Muzak collection. Excuse me, how much is this? I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. <laughs> Excuse me, Naomi. Yes, Joe? We were talking earlier about you needing some perfume. Uh-huh. Well, I'm about to make your day. Here's an expensive French fragrance. Joe, you're such a sweet guy. All I have to offer you are my hairdressing scissors. They'll do fine. I'm sure I can put them to good use. Well, I can rest easy about tonight now. All right, what scissors? So what the heck? No thanks. I've grown attached to it. Nah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a while longer. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. He's not giving me the uh Still need to work out milk from a sacred site. I've got the other two things. Um, in the sacred site, I think I was up there. Um, this won't hurt a bit. So I've got sloth there. And no. It's more like a bug exterminator kit than a vacuum cleaner, especially with those wasps inside. Guess they're in here. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna look for milk though. Cute. Um, sorry to bother you. I'm in the middle of bathing. What do you want? What do you do when you're not all wet? I happen to be the royal engineer. I initiate repairs, plan new construction, and oversee all erections in the fortress. There are so many <laughs> things I could say to that, but I won't. Wise choice. How come there aren't any men around here? Men are aggressive, destructive, inconsiderate, short-sighted, intellectually inferior, and they only ever think about themselves. You don't think I'm like that, do you? <sighs> I think you dropped the soap. Oh, darn. 
You wouldn't happen to have a bar, would you? I better get going now. See you around, big boy. 